Hundreds of people have turned out to see the thrilling end of WA's Avon descent. Competitors crossed the finish line battered and bruised after a heart-stopping race. Determined not to let the roaring rapids Three, win. Two, one. <laughs> Paddlers and boaties return to the water for the ultimate mind and body test. Stay tuned, how are you feeling? Uh, sore, battered and bruised. The adrenaline junkies persevering despite day one of the race leaving them worse for wear. So she flipped over and we were stuck for about 20 minutes so we uh, paddled the last 10 k's home. You busted your shit trying to float down. What was that like? Hard. Yeah, put it this way, I wouldn't be entering into the paddle section next year. <laughs> Others copping harsh hits from hazards below the surface. I've been around that channel seven or eight times and, and not even considered seeing a rock there till we, we come to an abrupt stop yesterday, mate, yeah. Some started day two way out in front. First in my class, ahead by two minutes 50, and I'm stoked. The water level's been great for us first-timers. But in the end, Josh Kippen and Brendan Rice were first to cross the finish line in Bayswater. Still a long way. Even in a team of two, you still end up doing sort of 30 to 40 k's a day, so it's still a, a long race and there's a lot of time to, yeah, to enjoy it. Ben Carrick, the first solo kayaker, and not far behind, a power couple who've paddled together since they were teenagers. At the end of the race, you say, well, we won't do it ever again. But every year it comes up and we're such FOMOs that we have to do it. <laughs> While for the power boats, last year's win get to retain bragging rights. We were only 100 metres apart, all three boats, for the rest of the run. Uh, the pressure was on. These mini jets are a new class for this year's race and they've proven to be ones to watch. The fastest finished just minutes behind the top traditional power boats. But the satisfaction of surviving the gruelling 124 kilometre adventure is enough. A bit tired, a bit sore, but we'll be right. Nothing a few beers won't fix. Stephen Thomas for 10 News First.